I mean, look, it's an unusual situation because you have a spending bill that's going to come before the Senate that no one really objects to on the other side. In other words, there's nothing in it they don't like. In fact, one of their highest priorities is included, which is a long-term extension of the children's health insurance program, which has to be done. In a couple of weeks, there'll be some states that literally run out of money. So it's, it's unusual uh, that you have this kind of opposition when there's really nothing objectionable there. Uh, but there's an issue outside of spending that they'd like to have included as would a lot of us, <laughs> yeah. but it's, it's an issue that hasn't been resolved yet. It's going to take a little more time. So my hope is that we do have not just 10 or 11, but enough Democrats to get this across the floor today. Yeah. And it just, you know, it gives us a month to be able to resolve the broader issue of immigration reform, right. which is something that a lot of us want to do. So it, it's an unusual situation. I, I don't think it is. And, and I think that's, I like the way you're saying that because it, it kind of assumes that there's, <laughs> that there's well-intentioned people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, and, and it's not, look, Senator, assume. they're convinced, and I'm, if either side, if either side thinks that they can score political points ahead of the 2018 midterms, for example, let's just say, for example, let's say Chuck Schumer and the Democrats think that the Republicans are going to get blamed for all government shutdowns. That's all they want to do is shut down the government then. If it's going to help them in 2000, they don't care if it hurts the military. They don't care if it, if it's, um, you know, destabilizes the financial. They don't care about any of that. They but just Joe, care I, about I think... scoring points and maybe doing better in 2018. And, and that's why everybody is so cynical and disgusted with, with the way things work in Washington now. Yeah, I think they've found some soft ground to fight on here, though, because, you know, this is not a good way to score political points when you look at it. It simply continues the spending, the current spending, and it adds something that has been a huge priority that a lot of people care about around the country, which is extending the children's health insurance program. Right. That, that's what it is. Right. I mean, there, there's, there's nothing else in well, here. So, is, how soft is it? That's my point, though. If the ground does soften up on them to the point where they, they look and say, think it might backfire, then you might... Then it might pass. But are yeah. we there? Are we there yet? Have you guys been, you know, it's all about PR and, you know, getting the message out. And, you know, you probably can only get the message out on one one network or maybe this show. But <laughs> uh, NBC is always a good place to get that message. out. There right? you go. <laughs> no, look, CNBC, I mean, I, I think but... I think people are smart. And, and first of all, I think people also need to know how we got here, which is the fact that we're not doing our annual appropriations bills, even though 10 of them were reported out of committee with big bipartisan votes because the Democrats didn't want to take them to the floor for a vote. I mean, that's, that's also a fact. So there's some facts here that are inescapable that make it difficult for this but to be a, a good political issue. Haven't Republicans done them. the same thing in the, in the past, Senator? Is it, it, I mean, I, I guess it's, that's why. Well, yeah, yeah when, when President Obama was president, Republicans also threatened to shut down government over something that wasn't related, and it didn't turn out too well, did it? So, I mean, I, I think this is an opportunity for us yeah, to <laughs> remind ourselves of what happened in 2013 yeah. as Republicans and Democrats and say, let's not take the American people through this. I mean, people have had enough drama. The economy is doing well right now. It's finally hitting on all cylinders. The tax reform and tax cut measure is actually working uh, as well as any of us expected, including the, our conversations about this, Joe. Uh, you know, we didn't expect for there to be this kind of immediate reaction. We knew there would be a longer-term reaction. And it's been fantastic in terms of right. companies making investment decisions, in terms of salaries and bonuses and 401K contributions. Things are going well right now. And I think the American people are looking for just a little stability. So let's not shut down the government. Let's keep it operating. Uh, let's do deal with the ch Children's Health Insurance Program. Nine million kids and their families are depending on us on this one. And let's continue the discussion on immigration. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.